All right, guys. Hey, good morning. Man, it's a beautiful day. The sun's out. The garden's green. Hey, nothing better else than barbecuing, garden, reading the Bible. Well, guess what? It's been three and a half hours with my cook. Uh, all right, that's right on time. 250. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a little higher. I was running 275 because I did open it up. So 275 to 300 degrees has, has been perfect. You know, running at um, just a little hot and fast. You know, no higher than 300 degrees. But let's go ahead and check this out. So the color is looking pretty good. And this is a three hour cook, three and a half hour cook. Uh, so I put these on at four o'clock. Uh, this one's leaning just a little bit. We'll fix that. And of course, you know, I split my butts because I want them to cook a little faster. And I'm going to wrap them just like that. And we're going to back add some more wood. Okay. But it's, this pit boss, man, sets it in pretty, pretty fast. Somebody asked me, hey, what are these little end bits I have? Well, guys, when you, well, let's let you, I didn't trim these briskets. Okay, my sons trimmed these. They got a little bit of Rocky Mountains right there, some crevets. You know, my briskets usually, you know, smooth, smooth all the way across. But they've been practicing. But anyway, I tell my boys, and myself, sometimes we have that little skirt that's sticking up. That's that's part of one of the first thing that would burn. So I actually cut it off, make it flat, and then use the uh, little end bitch man for like you know quesadillas, bureaus, um, chop it up, put it on some baked potatoes, and or just you know make little burnt ends out of them. Okay. So these is actually is the point that came off uh, this piece right here. Wood in the back, still burning uh, pretty clean. And we're gonna check some temps because these are sitting at 150, 155. Okay. Matter of fact, let's check the butts when they come around. We're gonna see where the butts at since I got my meter probes and my brisket. But man, I am loving the color. Three hours. Let's see where we at. Oh, not bad. Pretty good, nice and tender. One, 144. That's that is pretty fast for a pork butt at three and a half hours. Okay, let's see this one. Let's see, even cooked 147. So the pork butts at 147. Let's check the briskets. Let's check this one to see where we're at. Oh, that's 10. See that going like butter? 156. Wow, look at this. That's tender. 158. That's six hours. I mean, I'm six hours. Sorry, that's three hours. Three and a half hours. That's almost like butter, guys. I'm liking the color. I might go ahead and wrap these up. All right, let's check this temperature on this one. So the pork butts are pretty even cooked, 145, uh, 147 on the pork butts. Look at that, three hours. 154, that's about the same for my other one. Let's check the point. 162, spot on. Let's check the flat. Ah, uh, got a little tug right there. Uh, 154, okay. Once I wrap it up, it'll get tender. So just gonna give you guys an idea of how well this pit boss cooks evenly. All right. Let's see where we are on this one. Okay, they're all in the 150s. Let's check this one. Oh, it's like butter. 154, 156, okay. So I have one that's like 160, but the majority of these pork butt, I mean, Briskets are at 154, 155, 156. Even cooked. All right. Let's go check out the back. And then I'm going to add another, another split. Not a, not a big one. Okay. Well, that's been burning pretty long. Uh, so total wood 
equi equivalent to two splits using these right here. Okay, so this is uh, probably you know two in you know two and a quarter. That's all the wood I've been using. So all together with these combined together would be two splits. Perfect. Let's go ahead and bump it up a little bit. We'll add two of those. I'm going to wrap and this is going to finish off my cook. And I'm going to take the briskets uh, probably all the way to about 198. Probably highest 200. Pork butts, I'm going to take all the way to 203, 205. We'll see how fast that's catching. Once you got a good bed of charcoal or uh, bedding, not bedding, but um, uh, fuel down there, it'll stay lit. I let that burn for another two minutes, come back and close it, and then let it catch. All right, last look on my briskets. pork butts but you know what you know I got to taste that little piece because it's hanging off man like oh my goodness oh oh mmm post oak when it's burning clean puts a phenomenal smoke profile on your meat oh I got to get that one yes I do I got to Mmm. Mmm. Oh, there's another piece I got to get. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Oh, there's another one. When they're hanging off, you got to get them. Mmm. Fantastic. Okay. I said, close this thing up. Had it open too, too long. Okay, now we, we're caught. We're caught. That's all I want to see. We got some flames. Let's close it. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Yeah, I bring you guys back on my next smoke. I'm about to wrap these up and uh, call this cook done. God bless, and we'll talk to you later.